Some scary news for a member of the Carolina Panthers. Tight end Hayden Hurst out on the practice field for some non-contact drills today after his father revealed overnight that he has been diagnosed with post-traumatic amnesia. Now, the injury is connected to a hit that he took during a game against the Chicago Bears last month. Charlotte Sports Live's Gabe McDonald is at Bank of America Stadium with how the tight end is holding up and what he said today about the diagnosis. Well, it's been a season of ups and downs for Panthers tight end Hayden Hurst. After signing a three-year deal with the team in the spring, he kicked off his time as a Panther with a five-reception game against his former team in Atlanta and caught Bryce Young's first career touchdown. However, the last time we saw Hurst on the field was nearly one month ago in the Windy City. Hurst has been in concussion protocol, and we recently learned from his father that he's been diagnosed with post-traumatic amnesia after suffering a hit against Chicago. Fortunately, it's not a career-ending injury, according to Hurst himself, and we've seen him back on the field this week, so a return to action could happen soon. Having him back on the field would mean a huge deal to a rookie quarterback in Bryce Young that's missing that security blanket in the middle of the field. O.C. Thomas Brown is looking forward to eventually having Hurst back on the field and says he's in good spirits. I think he's doing well. I think obviously trying to stay as positive as he can be when it comes to just trying to uh, recover and get back to where he was before, but it's... Obviously, unfortunately, time we have any player injured for any reason when it comes to the recovery process, but he's battling back in good spirits. And as you saw there, Hurst is in a red no-contact jersey this week at practice, and he's listed as limited on the team's injury report. So it's not likely that we'll see him on Sunday in New Orleans, but it is good to see him moving around on the practice field. We'll have one last injury report coming up tomorrow afternoon ahead of kickoff on Sunday in the Big Easy. For now, reporting from Bank of America Stadium, Gabe McDonald for Queen City News. And a question on a lot of fans' minds today is, what is post-traumatic amnesia and how is it different from CTE? Queen City News anchor Morgan Francis here to give us a little lesson in this neuroscience. Yeah, Brian, I'm learning about it today, too. So post-traumatic amnesia, or PTA for short, is when someone is unable to remember the events surrounding an injury to the head. The memory loss can take shape in two forms of amnesia, retrograde and anterograde. The former is when you lose memories formed shortly before you were injured while the latter is when you can't remember what happened afterwards. Hurst's kind of amnesia isn't immediately known. As far as a recovery timeline, head injuries always vary from person to person. We've seen that time and time again when it comes to players getting concussions. These things can also result in permanent brain damage. If he does return in time for week 14 or 15, as he hopes, he would be able to play against either the Atlanta Falcons or the Green Bay Packers here at home. For now, he remains in no-contact protocol. Brian.